Malik Hasanov. Representing Azerbaijan. Reyes has picked up plenty of accolades over the last few years, a national title, but also a Central American Championship, Central American and Caribbean Games gold medal. Boxed in the World Championships back in 2013 in Almaty in, in Kazakhstan. He's been at this a good while. 31 years old now from Guatemala City. That's him in the blue. Quite a big physical difference between these two. He's on the short side, Rez. A muscular looking frame across the ring. Asanov of Azerbaijan, taller, leaner. Be interesting to see if he's got the, the jab to go with that height because it is a significant height difference, as big as you will generally see across these weight divisions. So we've got a tall southport up against a more squat, more muscular orthodox fighter here. And the mission for Reyes is clear. He needs to get inside that longer reach, get up closer where he can get his work done. What you would want to see from Hasanov here is a good jab, a nice one-two that allows him to just maintain that distance between the two of them. Catches the opponent with the jab on the way in. He's looked for a long left hand most of the time so far, an uppercut a couple of times too. It's not really that lead right that he tends to try and use to keep this at range, just pecking with that jab. Out. Again there, just tapping with the jab, right to the body there from Reyes. It's that left hand that he looks to rely on more, Hasanov. Tangle of feet there, up against the ropes. Hasanov went over, but obviously no knockdown. He's just measuring, he's measuring with that lead hand to try and sink in that left. He's got to keep his head on the move, Reyes. He can't just stand there and allow Hasanov to measure that left. But he's got the gloves up in place there, Reyes. So when he has thrown the left from, from distance, Hasanov, he's not really got through clean at any point. Caught by left hand as he tried to close the gap there, Reyes. Just creeping in. He needs to be a little bit cleverer about this. He's coming in in straight lines just behind that high guard. And okay, some of these lefts are being caught on the gloves and are being caught on the forearms, but he's managing to find him quite easily as he comes forward. Hasanov is managing to find Reyes quite easily as he comes forward. There's that left hand again. That kind of half got through that time. Into the final few seconds of round one. Pops off the one-two there. Hasanov goes down and jabs to the body. That was a good sneaky little shot. And really the way that Reyes is going about this, the kind of approach he's taking is that he's just going to walk Hasanov down and kind of hope that his punch output slows and he begins to get to him in the second round and in the third round because there's not too much science behind that for Reyes. It's just gloves up, walks forward, isn't really moving his head. And as I said, even though he's doing a decent job of, of covering up, He can't win the round like that. And Hasanov has taken it with all five judges. 
for exactly that reason. So into round two, Malik Hassanov of Azerbaijan putting that first one in his pocket, that first round, Reyes, Juan Reyes of Guatemala. Again, just looking to come forward here. He's got those gloves up, he's walking in, he's walking his man down, but he takes one to the body there. He's got to try and move that head on the way in. Use a jab, do something other than what he's doing at the minute. That was nice from Hasanov, just dug his toes in as Reyes was on the way in, found a couple of gaps. Nice left to the body there from Hasanov. And again there as he walks in, that was a perfect example, he just walks in there Reyes. Hasanov is able just to tap with that lead right, measure the distance and then try and whip the uppercut up the middle. It didn't get through absolutely clean. But it's too easy for him, for Hasanov. Reyes just launches a big right hand there. Misses by a distance, left to the body there was a decent shot. Reyes, I think, felt that was a little bit low. It was borderline, I would say, probably. Sarnov just sinking that left hand into the midsection there of Reyes again. And this first round is similar to the first. Sarnov has maybe been a little bit more expansive in this second so far Reyes is up where he needs to be there that was a good right to the body from Reyes that's better if that punch output slows from Hasanov then Reyes might be able to profit a little bit, but there's no real sign of that happening. That was a good combination there from Hasanov. Again, he just comes forward here, Reyes, marching forward, looking to try and move the head that time. But Hasanov is able just to use those feet, find some wide open spaces. Final few seconds of round two. Reyes just lets a couple go to the body. Hasanov, though, returns fire and manages to turn his man. Gets away off the ropes again. Springing a step there for Hasanov as he goes back to his corner. That'll be another round in the bag for him. So that will give him a healthy lead going into the third and final round. 20 points to 18 with all five of the judges. So three minutes remaining here between Malik Hasanov of Azerbaijan in the red. He's the tall, lean, angular southpaw. And Juan Reyes Donis of Guatemala in the blue. And the question was at the start of the fight when we saw these two standing face to face in centre ring was would Reyes 
have the ability to negate that reach of Hasanov. And unfortunately for Reyes, it's proved not to be the case. He's been very, very game. He's come forward constantly. He will continue to come forward for the remainder of this fight, but Hasanov has just managed to catch him on the way in, set those feet put some good power on those punches and although plenty of them have hit gloves and forearms and haven't really got through clean really it's prevented Reyes from doing any clean work of his own and that's really been the formula that's what we've seen and Reyes has started to do slightly better as the fight has gone on at times he's gone into range and managed to let his hands go a little bit more but again here Sano just backed up to the corner which is waiting for Reyes to come in and come in he will he knows that he will but throughout the fight he's he's coming without any great head movement and he's losing a point there Reyes as well for carrying that head in a little bit low there's such a big difference between these two in terms of height there's not really much danger of a head clash happening if if he brings that head in low Reyes because it'll collide with roughly the the chest of Hasanov. Good bit of body work there from Hasanov. <laughs> Heading into the final thirty seconds and as I've been saying, you cannot fault the, the work rate, the, the desire here of Reyes. But he's just chasing Hasanov around the ring, really. Now he just sets his feet again, just digs those toes in, thumps that left hand into the body. He's taken all these body shots well, Reyes. You would have to say that about him too. His conditioning is is good it's just the technical side of it that has let him down slightly bit of blood coming from the nose there of Hasanov but he's won that fight he's won that fight comfortably So Hasanov gets it. Hasanov gets it. As he absolutely should have, but he's got a tough task on his hands next time out because he's in with Hofhanis Bachkov, the Armenian wrecking machine. Now that's going to be an interesting watch because he will have his hands full. Hasanov keeping Bachkov off him. Very good fighter to watch Bachkov. Remember seeing him in the qualifier the final qualifier for Rio 2016 over in Venezuela and I remember thinking going into Rio that he was somebody who could maybe really do something I picked up a bronze medal in in Tokyo so he's a very experienced international amateur I saw him coming into the arena early on and 
Asanda found it quite easy to to keep off Reyes. It'll be much more difficult to keep off Batchkov. But a good win for him. A good, good win for him. 